Pisces. This is your end of August reading after that full moon. Kind of a horse voice. I never realized just how like, damn, horse my voice gets whenever I do all 12 readings. So, sorry about that. But, <coughs> woo, bless me. All right, Pisces, this is for end of August. How's that full moon treating you? I know for some of my Pisces friends, they've been going through the gamut. A lot of them are moving, they're relocating, they are uh, getting out of their parents' places, they've been with their parents, Pisces people. We're doing a cross and a path for you. Woo, you are loud this month. You are the hermit and four of pentacles. Greed is what's crossing you. The magician is in your subconscious. Of course it is, because you're having to work some magic shit. That's why the hermit is in reverse right now, because maybe you've been the hermit because you're Pisces, you like to invert, but you know, you're being pushed out of the comforting, what used to be a like awful, com it wasn't comfortable, but it's comfortable because it was familiar, not comfortable. You're leaving a familiar situation, Pisces, for something, the star. You have your eyes set on maybe an Aquarius, maybe you're meeting an Aquarius, maybe you're being asked to have more of an Aquari Aquarian energy, Two of Pentacles. There is some kind of choice that needed to happen in your life. Two of Cups is your future. It is in reverse. Maybe this is the internal joining. You are internally joining your cups because this Celtic deck reversals are not read as opposition energy. In fact, it says very clearly in the directions of this deck specifically that it is not, reversals are not to be read. You guys, you got Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment as your energy, and Ten of Pentacles as your environment. So, Pisces, it may feel like shit right now, but whatever happened, it's because you were meant for something bigger. You heard people telling you it, you knew it inside, but every choice that you were making, page of cups is your hopes, dreams, and fears. We also got the five of pentacles in reverse, because you just went through some shit, Pisces. I think that five of pentacles in reverse is um, fighting with someone who got temperance in reverse, as well as hopes, dreams, and fears, because you know the situation you just went through, there's probably reverse temperance, if I had to guess. Two of Pentacles, there is a tower moment for you guys, which isn't showing up right now, but I know for a lot of Pisces, that would have been the first half of August. The tower already happened, so it's not going to be on here. Um, yeah, you're coming out of that hermit mode, Four of Pentacles, someone was greedy. Someone was greedy, someone was taking advantage of you, many people were. You're over it. You're going after Ace of Pentacles. You're going after a new beginning, Pisces. It's beautiful, it's nice and clear. You just spelled it out for me. We got the magician as your subconscious energy because you're having to move out of hermit mode into magician mode because you're being forced out of the situation. The two of pentacles has come for you. And it's saying you gotta make a choice now and your higher self is choosing that star energy. You're looking up and we gotta play no games. You're not playing no games, Pisces. You're in it. You're in it to motherfucking win it. You're going after your new beginning, that Ace of Pentacles. So we're going to see what your advice is, because right now, as your energy is, <clears throat> Pisces, it looks great. Like, you have some great things going for you at the end of August. Your wish fulfillment is arriving only because you left a familiar situation. And it's not, like I said, it's not comfortable. Knight of Cups in reverse is part of your advice. So maybe you're being asked to reserve your emotions at this time if you feel a little high emotion because of a seven of swords in reverse. So seven of swords is really painful energy. So whatever it is that you just went through, you're being asked to be really cautious with how you express the emotions of what it is that you just experienced. And that will bring you into that knight of pentacles. You just doing you uh, not being codependent on anyone. You're creating your own legacy, Pisces. You're creating your own self-sufficiency. You're saying, you know what? I'm taking care of myself. I'm doing this. It is time. And you are taking it like a champ, boss. Like, seriously, Pisces, you are stepping forward. You are taking responsibility for yourself, and you're showing up in ways that, you know, it may seem like a backwards way to arrive in said situation, but you're doing it. And it's beautiful, and I love it. So I appreciate you guys. I'm going to see what your equine oracle advice is, Pisces. Again, I know a lot of you guys are leaving situations, getting new work situations, new living situations, uh, being kicked out of places, which is just as much of a blessing as choosing to move or like buying a really fancy big house. You know, just moving energies is always a gift, you guys. So think about it that way. And Pisces, I think that's why you're thriving so much right now is because you are able to think of it like a gift of the other signs, you more than others. You are able to look at the adversity like a gift because Pisces, there's a part of you that craves 
um, the punishment, the pain of these situations. You like the story. You like having the wisdom. You're kind of attached to feeling. And we already had this card once for another sign, but it's very prominent for you. Pisces is clearing. At this time, Pisces, you're being asked to break out of all negativity or restraints that are being placed on you or that are about you at this time. You have been held back recently and have gathered strength and energy. You have succeeded in overcoming adversity and will no longer tolerate being held back. Glorious wisdom is now yours, so burst out, Pisces. Your vibration is at a new peak, calling you to be free and full of fire. Speak up, go against the flow, and all that you create will be for the highest good. Ask questions as you burst forth, vowing to use what you have learned for the betterment of all. Use your newfound force and energy to direct change in the most benefic directions. All right, I love you, Pisces, and I will see you guys at the beginning of December. September. Interesting. Is something happening in December? Maybe this is going to be like a time period for you from now to December that this reading is going to be taking place. Because that was a really solid reading. So Pisces, I think your wish fulfillment and your Ace of Pentacles and your new beginnings and all these challenges, it, they're going to take time to come to fruition, but they are arriving and it's going to be between now and December. So I'll see you guys in September to follow up on that shit.